Well, here we are for a small series of tutorials comparing different game engines between themselves for simple and complex tasks. In this case some people on the channel asked, since GDevelop and Construct3 have a similar philosophy, are they the same? In this case, I think it is more important to show the similarities and differences, rather than actually just talk about it. Based on this assumption, we have taken both engines and try to implement a very simple platformer game with only one character player in one platform. This should allow us to understand exactly how both tools face the same set of actions while trying to deliver the same functions. Let's rock! Let's start by Construct3. Time for G develop now. Let's see how it behaves.
we have summarized the results in the follow table. As we can see the timings to implement in both engines was very similar, with Contract 3 being 3 seconds faster, even considering that we were able to draw the sprites, in the end we were able to add a double jump feature to the player with no extra cost. In the case of G-Develop, we have had some problems creating the sprites, as Piskel is not supported on the online platform, forcing us to get some material from the library. From a point of view of features, we were able to implement the same prototype with the same features, with the exception of the double jump that is not included in the, the platformer behavior. So it seems that Construct has small advantage here, and take the lead. Let's see what happens in the next videos. Until then, consider subscribing and giving a big like to this video as to motivate us to keep producing them.